All right, box breakers and pack rippers, welcome back to another special live episode of the box breakers here at Joe's Card Shop, Arizona Trading Cards and Collectibles, 24th Street and Osborne. Today we have the 1982 Tops baseball rack pack, and we're going to be looking for Cal Ripken Jr. and any other uh, Hall of Famers, Nolan Ryan and any that might grade out at a PSA 10. So we'll be going through all of these, talking about the grading process, submission for PSA. Um, we'll go through and we'll look at the corners, the edges, the surface, and we'll see if we can find any that are worth money. All right, our first card, Steve Carlton. You can see right here on the corner how it's bent back so obviously that's not going to be a 10 Tony Aramis centering actually looks pretty good maybe just a little bit too low Tony Aramis Mike Hargrove first baseman was he a coach or is that a football player I'm getting confused with I don't know Randy Jones for the Mets Matt Kioff, off center. Ron Hassey, off center. Looks like might be his rookie card, maybe not. Al Oliver, centering looks really good, just a little bit too low. Rick Burleson, a little low on the centering. Bo Diaz, catcher. Um, off center, just a little bit. There's Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer, all star card actually have that one in a personal collection from years ago but it's a little bit off center on that one a little off center top to bottom on that one there's a Mike Schmidt also off center Danny Ainge Joe did Danny Ainge play baseball do you know Joe no Joe's not back there Looks like Danny Ainge, the football or the basketball player. Huh. Anyway, off center, top to bottom. Dave Lopes. Ooh, just a little bit off center, I think. Too bad. Dave Kingman. Off center. All right, there's Pete Rose. Just a little bit off center, left to right, it looks like. I don't know what this uh, Pete Rose in action card is, but we'll get a sleeve on that one for sure. Joe Morales. Centering looks a little off. And Reggie Jackson. So this was our back back card, and it's got <clears throat> it's kind of bent. It's got a few printing issues on it. So anyway, that's not going to be a 10, but that's still a really good Reggie Jackson card. All right. Elias Sosa, Rudy May, centering looks pretty good on Rudy May actually, oh there's a something on the surface right there, you can see it in the light, see that little weird bump right there, <clears throat> anyway that would, <clears throat> that would potentially keep you from getting a 10, Ray Burris, Buddy Solomon, Mike Flanagan, Mike Caldwell, there's Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Centering looks pretty good. <clears throat> There's some issues with printing, it looks like. So that's too bad. There's Joe Morgan in action. That one actually looks pretty good. Oh, there's some weird printing thing right down there. You can kind of see. Steve Rinko, Carl Yastrzemski in action. Centering looks real good on that one, too. Dave Bergman. Okay, this is probably the best centering that we've seen so far. But he's got printing issues right there. See on it? Right behind his ear. See those little red and green spots? That's from the printer. It's too bad. Dave Bergman. Looks really good. Willie Randolph in action. Just a little bit off center. 
Here's Montreal Expo's future star, Terry Francona, Brad Mills, and Brian Smith. Here's Al Cohen's. Centering looks really good. Nothing wrong with the surface. Nothing. One little weird thing with the corner. Right up there. I don't know if you can see it, but. Greg Minton. Centering looks really good. Weird thing with the printer right there, though. Rick Mahler. Rick Mahler. Stuff all over the surface on Dave Mahler. Dave Collins, just a little bit off center. All right. Our third pack of our first rack pack. <clears throat> We've got Bill Russell on the front. Uh, Dave Roseman. Rick Bossetti. There's Dave Stewart. Might be Dave Stewart's rookie card. I think it is. Check that out. Just a little bit off center. There's a Nolan Ryan. 81 batting and pitching leaders. We got an 81 or 82 Nolan Ryan. Just a little off center. Raphael Lid Story. Lid Story? No idea. Chuck Baker. Corners messed up. Juan. Benegas, off center. There's Tommy John, New York Yankees pitching leader, Hall of Famer. Here are some New York Yankees future stars Steve Balboni, Andy McGraffin, Andre Robertson. Centering looks pretty good on that. Uh, there's a surface, surface thing on the back. Oh boy. Do you see who's back there? We did it. Can't even believe it. We got Cal Ripken Jr. <clears throat> rookie card. Did you pull it? Pulled it. Cal Ripken, Baltimore Orioles, future star. Awesome, bro. Bob Boner, Cal Ripken, and Jeff Schneider. The centering looks just a little bit off. Top to bottom. The corners. This upper corner's messed up. Was that just a one pack? Yeah, first pack, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so I don't think it'll be a 10, but still, that's a... That's a really nice pull. Baltimore Orioles, future star. Tops, uh, 1982, Cal Ripken, rookie. Live here at Joe's Card Shop. <clears throat> he sold this one to us. It's probably been sitting in the uh, case since 1982. There's Bob Skiles. Louis DeLone, future star. Got all sorts of rookies in here. There's Bill Campbell. Centering's off just a little bit. Steve Murrah, stuff up with printing. Bobby Brown. And Tommy Boggs. Wow. Cal Ripken Jr. Super cool. Let's go ahead and put that one in a sleeve. Just because that's the one we've been that we were looking for all this time. Pre-cut it like Joe here at the card shop taught us how to do. So that you don't damage your card when it slides right in. There you go. Cal Ripken. Super cool. We'll just uh, we'll set that back there. It's pretty far back there, huh? There you go. Alright, let's go ahead and do another one. See if we can get lucky and see what else we can pull. So in that rack pack we had a Nolan Ryan card. And we had a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. I'd say that's probably about as good of a rack pack as you could hope to get out of 1982 tops. <clears throat> All right, Ron Reed, just a little bit off center. Willie Wilson, just a little off center. Jamie Quirk, Steve Howe, might be a Steve Howe's rookie card, not 100%. George Foster. Don Robinson. Centering looks really good. The corner's messed up. John Verhoeven. Louis Leal. Centering looks good, but the corner's messed up. Steve Stone off center. Kevin Saucier off center. Gary Ward's got some printing issues. 
Amongst the Corner, Mark Baumbach, Gary Rillenek, Terry Kennedy, Joe Price, Oscar Gamble. Actually looks really good. It's got one little weird thing with the surface. Jim Dreyer. Surface on the back is messed up. Gary Maddox is a little bit off center. Alright. Next, we have Ron C. In action. Centering looks really good. Oh, there's something up with the surface. Let's see if we can get that to come up. Yep, see it right down there in the red, on the red line. You can see it when the light kind of gets near it. So that one's messed up. Tony Perez. Off center just a little. Darren Porter. Burt Belvin. We've already had him. Right? Vita Blue. Bob Bangkok. Babcock. Looks like he's played in the minor leagues forever. Billy Almason. Alman. Billy Alman. Off center. Grant Jackson. Lynn Barker. Centering looks good, but the corner's messed up. Tommy John, corner's messed up. Rick Camp, Mike Flanagan, corner. Dick Turdero, Gary Templeton Rye. Just a little bit too far, top to bottom. Ken Obokafell. Um. Something up with the surface, something up with the corner. Ken Macha and Chris Chambliss. Huh. All right, third pack, uh, third, third whatever of our second rack pack, 1982 baseball card opening. We got the Chicago Cubs future star, Jay Howell, Carlos. Les Cano and Ty Waller. Never heard of any of those cubbies. John Denny. This one looks pretty good. Something up at the corner. Mario Soto. Something up at the printing. Doug. Clipla. Pascual Perez. Something up with the. <clears throat> something up with the surface right there, I think. Yep. I think that's his rookie, though. Pascal Perez. Here's Oakland A's 81 batting and pitching leaders. We got Ricky Henderson. Oh, that's pretty nice. Something's up with the surface on that one. Future stars. We got Steve Sachs, future star, Ron Roenick, and Mike Marshall. Jeff Jones. Jeff Jones looks pretty centered. Oh, there's something on the surface. Dave Rosima. Rosma, Rick Bossetti. There's another Dave Stewart rookie card. That's a second one of those and our second Nolan Ryan. So we've got a, a repeating pack, which we've seen before. So you can use this pack for sequencing. You can also use the last pack to sequence out the uh, Cal Ripken and you can figure out what cards are near Cal Ripken and they'll almost always lead right to the same cards in the same order. Rick Bordy, Oakland A's Future Stars. And there's your Nolan Ryan, 1981 highlight card. Pitches fifth no-hitter. So this one was on the back. Uh, there's something up with the surface and the corner. All right. Let's see if we can make it through two more. We've got two more 1982 Tops Rack Packs to open here. Let's see if we can get through both of these. We should have time. Here's Joel Youngblood, a little bit off center. Aurelio Rodriguez. Pat Zachary, Juan Bonilla, uh, Bonilla, Bobby Bonilla, Bonilla. Frank White, Larry Parrish, off center. Jeff Burroughs, off center. Jerry Butch, Steve Crawford. Bill Madlock. There's Rick Honeycutt. 
he's old man he started playing in 77 Mike Norris Alan Bannister Ryan Stewart there's Willie Randolph all sorts of printing issues centering looks pretty good and Dwight Evans man he started playing in 72 holy crap Dwight Evans the card actually looks pretty oh the corner can you see the lower right corner anyway it's messed up Tom Griffin is our last card he started playing in 1969 whoever he is alright next pack Jim Clancy Ellis Valentine centering looks pretty good something up at the surface right under his chin Mike Phillips something's up at the surface Greg Luznecki surface Gene Tennis chip there's a chip right there on the surface Willie Randolph all-star looks like there's stuff all up with the printing Dave Lopes all-star something up at the surface Dan Briggs Dan Briggs got something on the surface George Brett's got printing right there on his face you can see it right there on his pants and the centering's off just a little bit. <clears throat> There's Tom Seaver, All Star. Looks pretty good. Oh, there's all sorts of surface issues on that. Steve Carlton in action, Hall of Famer. Al Harborowski. John Harris. John Harris. Looks pretty good. Huh. Looks pretty good. Whoever John Harris is. Looks pretty good. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're going to send it in for PSA submission, but um, last guy was Craig Reynolds. There's Larry Boa in action. I don't know who he is. There's Alan Trammell. He's played forever since 1977. Centering. Looks good. There's just one weird little surface thing right up there. And Robin Yount. He's played forever also. One surface issue right there. Alright, here comes our third sleeve of our third pack. We've got one more to go after this. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, we do pack openings almost daily don't want to miss any of those notifications there's George Vukoc never heard of him looks like his rookie card whoever he is John D Acustos this card looks pretty good shape there's something up at the surface Glenn Abbott oh my gosh we did it again we did it again our second Cal Ripken Joe our second Cal Ripken rookie poll Two, well, we've done, it's three packs. We've hit him two out of three times. Nice. With Jeff Schneider and Bob bon Boner. Probably Bonner, pronounced. It's got the same printing little thing. Maybe that's just normal. Maybe that's just how they all come. Uh, but the surface looks really, really good. There's one little spot there. The corners all look good. I, again, I don't know if we'll be sending this one in. It's got some stuff on the back but we definitely want to get that one sleeved up right away can't believe that somebody must have picked these packs way back in the day set them aside and you know people know the sequencing you can go back and look and you'll see that probably the card that preceded uh that preceded is glenn abbott possibly on both of them and the card that's behind is bob skiles so uh, it doesn't always work that way, but it's a good indicator. Anyway, check that out. Our second Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. Holy smokes. Talk about lucky pulls. 
Wow. Nice one. Baltimore Future Star, 1982 Tops. Cal Ripken Rookie. Cal Ripken Rookie Pole. Check that out. That is super cool. All right. Bob Skiles. Um, looks pretty good. I think the centering is just barely off. Glenn Broomer, Louis DeLone, and Glenn Roof. St. Louis Cardinals, future stars. Bill Campbell. Steve Murrah. Bobby Brown. Tommy Boggs. Denny Lee Wallen. 81 home run leaders. We got Mike Schmidt, Eddie Murray, Dwight Evans, all on the same card. It's pretty cool. 1981 Steve Carlton. Highlight card. That one actually looks really good. Oop, just dropped it on its corner. Lee Smith. <clears throat> I don't think that's his rookie card, but that one's really nice. It's in really good condition. There's uh, a couple things on the surface there. Otherwise, that one looks good. Sal Boutier, Bob Lacey, and Lynn McLothan. All right, let's see if we can get through our last 1982 Tops Rack Pack here. Maybe we can get lucky and hit yet another Cal Ripken Jr. We'll see. Can we go three out of four on Cal Ripken Jr. rookie pulls? If we can get these out of here without damaging them. Willie Wilson, <clears throat> just a little bit off center. Jamie Quirk, Steve Howe, George Foster, Don Robinson. A lot of these people look familiar. John Verhoeven, Louis Leal, Steve Stone, Kevin Sorcer, Gary Ward, Mark Bombach, Gary Roenick, Terry Kennedy, Joe Price, Oscar Gamble. Centering looks really good. I think there's one thing up with the surface, maybe. Man, it's a good looking card. Oscar Gamble. Jim Dreyer. Gary Maddox. Dave Roslo and Willie Akins. Alright, next pack. Alan Ashby stuffs up with the surface Dick Drago Jim Rice I think he's a Hall of Famer something's up with the surface Mike Squires, Brian Downing here's the Toronto Blue Jays Dave Stibe and John Mayberry Andy Hassler, there's Pete Rose, all-star. Centering looks really good. There's something up with the surface right there, unfortunately. Rick Weiss. There's George Brett, all-star. Just a little bit off-center. And it's got some surface issues. There's Mike Sosha. I don't think that's his rookie card, but... Um, something's up at the corner Joe Pittman he's got some surface issues Wayne somebody rather surface Bob Bob whoever Bob is got surface Greg Nettles One little surface issue. He's played since 1967. Ed Miller. 
and Johnny Bench. It's got one problem with the corner, one surface thing. He's played since 1967. All right, here's our final, final pack of 1982 Tops <clears throat> baseball opening rack packs. Bob McClure. There's John Tudor. Shooty Babbitt. Mark Shooty Babbitt. Whoever that is, that's his rookie card. He's got some surface issues. Gary Hancock. Tom Herr. Joe Strain. Mike Parrott. Mike Ivey. Chicago White Sox. Chicago White Sox Future Stars. Never heard of any of these guys. Reggie Patterson, Leo Sutherland, and Jay Lavoglio. Dewey Robinson. Now this card looks about perfect. Dewey Robinson. Huh. I don't really want to send Dewey Robinson in. Yeah, there's stuff wrong with the back. We'll, we'll say that. Mark Little. Fred Martinez. Charlie Liebrandt. Looks like it might might be his rookie card, Charlie Liebrandt. Larry Heisel. Dave Edwards. Jerry Morales. And Keith Drumright. Wow. So out of four... 1982 Topps Baseball Rack Packs. We pulled two Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie Cards. Baltimore Orioles Future Stars. So I don't know. Maybe we'll take a look and see if one of these is more centered than the other one. It actually looks like this one is. This one might be worth sending in. Even though it's got some weird... It's got these weird scratches on the back. So that might actually keep it out. Yeah, and it's got something up at the corner on that one too. Yeah, so neither of these would probably be tens by our grading standards, but anyway, super cool. Baltimore Orioles, Future Star, Cal Ripken Jr., 1982 tops. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks uh, to Joe here at the card shop. And for all of our subscribers, big shout out to everybody who supports the channel, the community. Appreciate everybody's... Uh, help with everything. We'll see you next time here on the Box Breakers. We're out. Whoa! Drop the camera. Edit. Edit.